In the year 2093, monsters of unknown origin suddenly appeared and attacked humanity. At the same time, the crime rate around the world continues to increase from year to year. There was a very dark time for the population when everything was chaotic, at least until the arrival of our main protagonist, Zero, the first superhero in human history, in the year 2095. He alone annihilated countless monsters and defeated the world's most powerful criminals. Even the Demon Lord was beheaded by him. With his great achievements, he inspired the creation of a League of Heroes, who became the hope of humanity. In the year 210, the crime rate in various countries is starting to decline, and the world is gradually returning to peace. Five years after Zero disappeared, the hero who once saved the world is kicked out of his home by his sister due to him being unemployed. No one knows that the legendary hero Zero is Jai Lin, not even his sister. One day, when Jai was walking, he unintentionally saved an E-rank hero from a D-rank criminal. After witnessing Jai's strength, the E-rank hero, called Jen, goes to Jai's house and invites him to be a hero. Jai declines as he is not interested in it, but his sister forces him to become a hero and accept his offer to earn money. The following morning, Jen takes Jai to this building where heroes are listed. Inside, there is a huge statue of Zero, but Jai is confused as to who the other heroes are beside him. Jen explains that those who are beside Zero are other legendary SS-class heroes that fought together, but Jai is puzzled as he doesn't remember fighting alongside these people. Jen also informs Jai that five years ago, the hero registration law started. After Zero disappeared, the world government proposed this bill that divides heroes according to their effectiveness and battle records. The highest is SS ranked, to the lowest, which is E ranked. As a result, this bill caused heroes to clash with one another, and many heroes left because of it. After registering his name, his strength will be tested first. Jai is tasked with dueling Mr. Yatan, who is a B ranked hero. Yatan tells Jai that if he can hold him for three minutes, he will pass the test. To which Jai cockily responds, what if I can beat you? This makes Mr. Yatan mad and fuels him with strength. However, facing Jai Lin's power, all of Yatun's attacks are useless. After an epic display of action, Jai Lin easily comes out victorious, leaving Jen and the examiner utterly shocked, as they weren't expecting him to defeat a B-rank hero with such power. Jai successfully passes the test and becomes an E-rank hero. On his way home, Jai Lin sees an E-rank hero being terrorized by a few thugs. Before he intervenes, another E-rank hero appears and chases away the bullies. Thanks to that, Jai has a new friend as they're both crazy about the magician girl, and a thrilled Jai invites him to work together. His name is 13, and when Jai asks what his ability is, he says it's bad luck, making everyone around him extremely unlucky. Jai and the others have a mega WTF moment, but although 13 is an E-rank hero, lots of criminals and heroes still fear him. Thus, a party of four E-ranked heroes was formed. Days pass and they have their first mission. They find out a terrorist group is trading biological weapons. With Jen's great invention, a plasma sword that can purify all dirt, they successfully capture the entire terrorist group and destroy the monster. However, it turns out that the hideous monster is actually a super cute lolly girl. The next morning, a mysterious girl shows up at their house, called Handong, who is a respected hero across many cities. She enters their home and reveals that a few years ago, the company's evolution gene used orphans as test subjects, and that girl was the only child who succeeded and survived the experiment. Jai gets angry and asks, so what were the heroes doing all these years? She tried everything to stop them, but it was all in vain because the person behind it all was the president of the Hero Association. And since that day, Handong is being chased by heroes all over the country. At the same time, some heroes received orders to recover the experimental object that is the lolly girl who Jai saved. That night, an A-rank assassin received a mission to assassinate Jai. Although the assassin realizes he is no ordinary E-rank hero, he still looks down on Jai as he proclaims to be the strongest assassin. As the assassin had just finished speaking, he is immediately beaten up by Jai. When he realizes there is no other way he could defeat Jai, he decides to use the stimulant drug, which enables him to gain the power of an S-rank. The assassin is very confident in his S-rank body, and began to threaten Jai's family, which made him mad, and with one slash from Jai's weapon, he caused the mountain to explode and destroyed the assassin. According to Handong, in three days there will be a big battle in each city. Tonight, the president of the Hero Association will take action at all costs. They must prevent heroes from obtaining biological samples on this mission. Handong invites Jen and Yatan, who leads the party of muscular heroes to support Jai's party. Jen successfully stops them from escaping. However, right now she is being shot by someone. 
Zule says is one of each city's top heroes. The Hero Association president has bribed him. Handong's opponent is the president of the Hero Association. When a ninja confronts the director of the evolutionary company, he is protected by an A-rank assassin. Jai alone can fight two people at the same time, but Jen shows up and says that two people fighting one person is not fair, so he will fight the assassin. Lin Jai's battle also begins at this moment. King Yan then finds Chao Yi's location with the energizing analytical calendar. They find Zhu Li's location, but it's a trap for King Yan. Suddenly, he appeared from behind and attacked them, back to Handong, although she tried her best. He was so powerful in a previous appearance that when the director realizes he is no match for Jai, he immediately employs the stimulant. With this power he declares that today will be the day of Jai's death, but unfortunately, he is swaggering in front of a legendary hero at this moment with the power of a rich man. Jen subdues the A-rank assassin in a nearby place. Although King Yan can also use the teleport skill to escape, he decides to stay here to protect Chao Yi. This causes Chao Yi to awaken her powers. At the same time, Handong is still trying to fight back because she believes in Jai. Mr. Gan immediately uses the stimulant and becomes overconfident with the strength comparable to an S-rank hero, but he doesn't know that Jai had defeated an S-rank assassin. Haoyang still can't believe how Jai could be so strong and wonders if he was an S-rank hero. Handong also thinks that Jai is an S-rank hero after he defeated the association chairman. After the incident with the Evolution Gene organization resulted in a few casualties, Handong arranged special training for the group. Jai refused to join them, stating that he is the strongest after all, so he doesn't need training, making Chao Yi mad at him, and asks him what was he thinking. Is it because he was able to defeat two level A heroes that he thinks he's stronger than everyone else? She then explains to him that many people in the organization are above S level and also SS level. Compared to them, his abilities are not enough. Jai then smirks and tells them that even if all the members of their group came together to fight him, they couldn't win against him. The following day, they gathered at the Hero Association quarters when a man named Ding Yang unexpectedly introduced himself to the heroes as the new president of the Hero Association. Jai noticed that Handong was not acting like her usual self when she saw the new president of the Hero Association. She then approaches the new president of the Hero Association, who is revealed to be her older brother. She struck up a conversation with him, but he began bullying her and telling her she had to clean up the mess she had made. His brother noticed that Jai and the others were hiding behind the door and told them to come in. Ding Yong asks Jai to join his family because he sees potential in him, but he rejects his offer. Ding Yong informs him that in the past, people who refused such offers were killed. Jai was unfazed and challenged him to kill him if he could. Ding Yang was furious and used his psychic powers to make everyone kneel, but it did not affect him. Jai also uses his psychic powers to cancel Ding Yang's abilities, causing him to bleed out from his mouth and making him back off. Jai and his group members then left the Hero Association, and they discussed the possibility of Handong being in danger, because of the recent incident involving the former president of the Hero Association. So they devised a plan to help her and asked Shisen, who is also one of the group members, to investigate the matter. On their way back home, Jen inquired as to why Jai was concerned about Handong. Before he could answer, he noticed that they were being watched by some men in black suits. He managed to capture one of them, and was able to discover that they were part of the Long family bodyguard. While keeping an eye on Handong, Shisen spotted Aoyang, who was driving a sports car, approaching Handong's house, and immediately notified Jai. When Ayong was greeted by Handong, after some brief exchange, he started mistreating and abusing her because she was engaged to him. Shisa tried to intervene but was attacked by Aoyang's magic wind blade. While lying in a pool of blood, one of the Aoyang robots was about to kill him, but was saved by Jai. The robots proved too difficult to destroy, which caused Jai to draw out his weapon known as the Fire Spirit Sword to destroy the robots. Jai was enraged to find out that it was the Aoyang family's doing. He tries to pursue Aoyang, but his friends manage to calm him down by telling him that it is important right now and the most crucial thing at the moment is for them to save Shisen. Jai vows to reap revenge for Shisen and also save Handong. The next day, they were able to infiltrate the Aoyang family house with the help of a former assassin who is now working for Zhen as a maid. Jai was able to make it into Handong's room and bust her out. With the help of his friends, who were able to distract the guards fleeing from the Aoyang family, they were ambushed by Aoyang, who had managed to defeat his friends and proposed a 1v1 arena fight, in which the winner gets anything they want from the loser. Aoyang chose the Fire Spirit Sword, while Jai desired to leave safely with Handong and his friends. They both agreed to the terms with Aoyang and the Dong family, who bore witness to their match. Their fight began when Jai drew his spear sword, and Aoyang, looking down on him, says that all it takes takes his hands to kill him. On the verge of losing the fight, after receiving damage from Jai's dragon slash technique, Aoyang manages to trap Jai and uses his ultimate skill to 
kill him, but he survives. Using the excuse that he wasn't able to kill him, he ended up using a forbidden technique to destroy everything around him. But to his demise, everyone survives, and Jai manages to defeat him. While they are celebrating their victory over Aoyang, a mysterious man floating in the sky manages to control everyone, except Jai, and he proclaims himself to be God, challenging Jai to fight to save humanity. During their fight, the self-proclaimed god gains the upper hand and uses his power to infiltrate Jai's memory and see his dark past of him grieving for a dying girl, which enrages him and awakens Jai's true power as the legendary hero Zero. The man god was in shock and recognized him as the legendary hero, but didn't want to accept it, claiming he wasn't the real Zero. He proceeded to attack him, but after an awesome display of action, he was easily defeated by Jai, the legendary hero Zero. And this brings the anime to an end. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and turn on the notification bell so you never miss out on another video. Until next time, take care.